sound wave. Have you sanitized the data core? Sound wave acknowledges. Excellent. It would be counterproductive for him to stumble upon any sensitive information. <laughs> You never disappoint. It is our technology, and it must be returned. Your reasoning is hard to do. But we may be mortal enemies, but Autobots and Decepticons do share one common goal. You would like to see the ruins of our devastated homeworld restored to their former brilliance, as would I. I am a prime. I do not take orders from you. That does not change the fact that you may be Cybertron's only hope of ever seeing life again. Uh, still worrying about hurting humans, Prime? Autobots do not inflict harm unless all other options have been exhausted. It is what separates us from the Decepticons. And if that doesn't work, our massive firepower will. Did you secure the human children? The, uh, beast hunt kinda imploded, Doc. What have you to report from your long journey? Not today, alright? Hey, where is Bumblebee? Not so good. Blown to bits, actually. By the Allspark. What happened? Somebody say something. We made contact and arranged the rendezvous. Proximity bomber. Supposed to take us both out. We'll find him, Prime. No. We have already lost another one of our own today. I will not risk more lives. Are you suggesting we sit back and do nothing? You! Loose cannon! Your cowboy antics almost blew our cover! Had to jump through some big hoops! You need to keep a tighter leash on your people, Prime! A tighter leash? Let me clarify, Tiny. Enough! Military involvement will only result in catastrophe. Perhaps you can condone widespread human casualties, Agent Fowler. I, however, cannot. Then do us both a favor and handle this prime under the radar. Or I will. You? Ha! Agent Fowler is concerned for his world, as he should be. Prime's taken my trophy case. And he will feel my wrath. I want to help you. I do. But I am not some alien ambassador. You know, I'm a normal kid with normal problems. Every galaxy I have traveled, all you species are the same. You all think you're the center of the universe. Well, sir, I don't mean to correct you on everything you think you know, but... This isn't my war. I don't care. We're loading up. Optimus, you're not going to believe this. I've just pinpointed the location of the warship. How did you penetrate their cloaking technology? I didn't. I was experimenting with variable frequency wavelengths when I stumbled upon it. Even still, their ship must be experiencing some kind of electromagnetic breach. If we can recover Bumblebee's body, we may still have time to safely revive him. RC? Yes. Prepare to roll out. Wait, what about me? The two of you will remain here. Optimus is right. Considering the very fate of Cybertron is at stake, response time is critical. Don't take it personally. Primes are built that way. While Optimus certainly keeps his emotions in check, I've known him far longer than any of you have. And he was different. It happened at Tiger Pass. Our brave scout was captured by Megatron's forces and interrogated. But he refused to provide intel and paid a grave price for his courage. 
Battle of Tiger Packs. Of course I did. And brilliantly, if I might add. Much as I've enjoyed the hunt, I won't miss your wretched planet. How did you let this happen? Sit down, Dark Matter Drive! Super Emocene!